and today we're going to start off with the new year with a new year's resolution we're going to talk about happiness and happiness is a subject that i'm very interested in so today i'm going to give you five tips five indispensable tips that i think will really help you out the very first tip to consider is to have a word a word at the beginning of the new year instead of a new year's resolution so melinda gates coined this so when i'm starting the new year i'm labeling the concept that i'd like to be considering for that new year one concept every year so this year for me personally it's going to be joy for Melinda Gates it's grace on that notebook I have the word joy at the top of January 2019 because it keeps it front and center for me and so when I think about things that create joy for me the color yellow the color yellow really makes me happy so i'll be i'll be sure to include more yellow in my papers and in my markers and things like that because it just sparks it sparks creativity for me, but it also helps me to be more social because it, it's really energizing color for me. So yellow, things that create joy. So in my notebook, I basically have a whole page in my notebook that are just things that really make me happy, that really, that it's just, it's always made me happy ever since I was young, whether it's car drives, whether it's painting. And so I can always flip back to that page. What is your word of the year? What is the, what is the word that you're going to use to find this year because the thing about habits when we want to create habits at the beginning of the, the new year whether it's to lose weight more to wake up earlier these are all things that can be encompassed by one word whether it's that we want to focus on health or we want to focus on joy when you focus on words like that it affects everything that you do so the very next thing that has really improved my happiness and my joy tremendously and surprisingly actually is this book called A Year of Positive Thinking. This book has absolutely changed my life. I bought it recently and I've gone through almost the whole thing and there's so many parts of it that just stand out. There's so much wisdom. There's so much wisdom chalked into one book this book has changed my life and so for this for christmas i bought a stack of you guys know i love the 52 list for happiness i bought a big stack of it for everybody in my family i i'm sh i'm shocked that there was anything left for anybody else on Amazon because I bought a big stack of 52 lists for happiness. This book is really incredible, but one thing I gotta say about journals and poetry books and also this positive book is that they're very nice to touch. They really spend a lot on the design and everything that goes into it. They really, they really, it's a, it's a joy and a journey for the senses. Everything is beautiful. For instance, this bookmark is velvet. So it is a very nice experience to be able to wake up in the morning and just pick up one of these books and just peruse through it. Whether you're in the mood to journal and to think about things and write about things or you're just in the mood to be inspired. So next Christmas, I'm buying out every book. I'm buying out all these books and everybody's getting, if I find something I really like, everybody's getting the same one. It is an incredible book. It will change your life. Very balanced and a lot of wisdom. So that is a ritual that I've been doing every day. So along with the word of the year that I have at the, at the front of my notebook, I also have a ritual to go alongside with it. It's a very enjoyable ritual. It's nothing nothing that I dread in any way because I, again I'm looking to add joy into the new year so it's something that I look forward to every day I don't have to coax myself into doing it I just want to pick it up and so the very next thing is notebook and planning planning is very important you've never been somebody that writes down anything sticking with the theme of joy there is so much creativity that you can inject into your planner to make it extremely a work of art so i'm looking at my planner right here on my easel and i have markers i have highlighters i have string i have string that i put into the page and i have little stickies and oil color paints everything but i will recommend if you're going to use paints on your notepad on your planner i do recommend that you i do recommend that you use watercolor paints or acrylic paints it's a little bumpy but it adds some texture to your planner anything like string or burlap or anything that you can put on photographs it adds texture which is again it's an it's a nice thing it's a it's including all of your senses so it will add a lot of joy in that way so i don't use this planner but i got this to show you guys a little version of the planner that i use so i always have been using the tool notebook because it's very easy to change out the pages there's nothing more 
irritating, you're writing a list and then you wanna have an extra page and you turn the page and there's another list. So this way, because you can take the pages out so easily and then press them back in, then you can have all your lists together very beautifully. And you can also put little stickies that hang out so that you can see, you know, recipe, finances, address, book to send out letters. You have a little bit of categories. But for now, let's just focus on getting the things ready so that we can have a really great 2019. So a tool notebook is really important and a pencil because then you can always have something to look forward to. There will be days that will not be full of joy, but you know what? I look at my 2019 planner and in the corner, it has the things I have to look forward to, whether it's trips or whether it's things that I'm working on or things I'm about to learn. So there's always things on the horizon. So that's what that's where a planner comes in handy because it ensures balance into your life, which balance social and everything health that improves your life tremendously in your joy and your happiness. But it also makes sure that you have something for today and something for tomorrow. So you got the bases covered there. Everything's taken care of. So planning is something to really enjoy. When it comes to planning, I can plan out for the next 20 years, no problem. <laughs> but I have to stop myself at one year because I'll get, I'll get way ahead of myself. There's nothing more enjoyable than having a lot of things to looking, a lot of things to look forward to over the horizon. And it really helps you to stay the course so that you can accomplish the things that you are, your purpose, your purpose in life. So the very last thing, I have the statistics on happiness. I have the six things, statistics and studies, they have found these six things affect happiness for a country. And now if you think about yourself, your little country. So you, these same things will affect your level of happiness. So money, of course, is not the determining factor. So the countries that were the wealthiest actually didn't make it into the top 20. It, because money was important in the sense that the top 10 countries they are very wealthy countries to be sure. So economics does matter, which is why we have our planner here. And you're never gonna regret that because you'll always have the freedom to switch things up if you so choose to. But 10 countries, and so GDP is the first thing. You gotta have your finances in order. You gotta have one page in your notebook for finances. It will, it will take so much stress off your brain. But besides finances, the next thing is social support life expectancy so you have to think that life ex expectancy has to do a lot with physical health as well so life expectancy eating well eating healthy social support having a social system and then freedom to make life choices freedom to make life choices is very important and i consider that mental health if you're under a lot of m emotional and mental strain that's not the freedom to make life choices so mental health and generosity, which again is another social thing. And it's also a thing of if you are creative or if you work hard and things like that, you have a lot to give, then it's important that you do give it and that you don't just become a river that there's no outlet. There's no outlet. It just becomes a pond of stagnation. It's got to flow back out, if that makes sense. Everything has to go back out to the source. So whatever you have, whatever you're given, it goes back out again. And that that is generosity. And then the last one is the one I really want to focus on, which is corruption levels. Corruption levels it is one of the biggest factors when it comes to the happiness. I think of ethics and ethics are indispensable, indispensable for a happy life because you have to live with yourself. It doesn't matter how anybody else is, but you have to you have to be happy with the choices that you make. And the way to build trust in society and the way to build the social, you know, the social support and generosity and all those things is to have ethics and yourself. And then that will color the way that you see the world as well. So in my notebook, I have one page on just my heroes that I really look up to. You can put on Pinterest too, a board of people that you really look up to. They are so inspiring or they, they are regal, something about them that you really look up to them. And then you have quotes that really exemplify your value system, quotes that you love. So I have one page of just that. And I review that often because it, rem it reminds me of the person that I want to be and the person that I am because the things that you're drawn to they're showing you what you really are and then you can really shine because those things are what make you you 
and that is what creates ethics. I guarantee you 2019 is going to be a great year. It's going to be a great year, guys. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me an upvote. I'll see you guys next Sunday in the next Minimalist and Organization video. Thank you so much for watching.